got away from the planet Earth. I was visiting. A lot of stuff going on there. I hope this show gives you a good half hour escape because I think everybody might need it down there. A lot's going on. I had this album um, from 1972. It was recorded by Beaver and Krauss. Legend Days Are Over is the track that I want to play. The album was All Good Men. What they did is they went and they set up their microphones and recorded a historian. A historian from, you ready for this? From the Nez Perce tribe. And this tribe, their, one of their chiefs was Chief Joseph, a relative of Elizabeth Wilson. So we're going to run this clip of her talking about the legend days and they're over. The way the medicine man went and got guiding spirit contact with animal or whatever it is, they kept on dancing every winter. They got strong and power came to them. They got strong and power came to them. 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 Everything was different. Clear air and wilderness and they could get in touch with animals like that. But I don't think they can now. Everything gone, noise and all. All right, legend days will be over. Humanity is coming soon. No more legend days. There will be no more. And they will be sad like I am, broken hearted over my last child, never to return again. Death takes her. And that's the way it's going to be. I wander along only in the higher mountains, and the heads of the streams all the way through. I'm never down anywhere where it's civilized country. I'm way up in the wilderness, Years to come, people will lose the only child and they'll have the feeling just like I have, sad, that's what. And that, that's why these days we are that way. sadness comes to us.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the clip. I now am going to enjoy my ship. I have a few things I want to do around here on my own. Maybe a new coffee maker? Hmm, who knows? I spoke too soon about the broken. I got to get the molly gollies. Darn it. All right. Broken. Well, I'm back here. I wanted to uh, thank my friend Jerry Wilder for sending me a song. Uh, it was a Bob Dylan song. And this song is called Everything is Broken. It looks like my ship is getting broken again, too. Well, while I do something with the ship, check out Jerry's song. Everything is broken.
Well, the Veeble fix was broken. I had to do something with it. My handy tool. There's nothing like a handy tool. A good old earth tool. Not too sophisticated, but it can fix a lot of stuff. So, while I'm about to hang out and get some food, let's give you an intermission trailer. What a great tool. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Movie trailers. I love movie trailers. This one talks about the sophistication of Technicolor and animation, and it's beautiful. Except for the sound on my clip isn't beautiful, but the, it's an educational thing. We're going to take a voyage. Not a Star Trek voyage, a Sinbad voyage. The seventh voyage of Sinbad, the trailer. Here is the Columbia Picture star, Catherine Grant, as she appears in the seventh voyage of Sinbad. You know, a girl has to be awfully careful where she goes and what she does these days because she can wind up in the most unexpected places. For instance, inside a magic lamp. Welcome, Princess Prissa. I want to tell you about one of the most unusual, most spectacular motion pictures ever made. Shot in Moorish Spain. Truly an Arabian Nights setting for the most dazzling of all the Arabian Nights adventures. The seventh voyage of Sinbad. In settings like these, the cameras have created breathless spectacles. Let me show you what happens when Sinbad, the most celebrated adventurer of all times, takes his most thrilling voyage. Here he is as he comes eye to eye with the Cyclops. Marissa! Every time I see scenes from the seventh voyage of Sinbad, I keep wondering, how did they do it? How did they create the very creatures described in the tales of the Arabian Nights? They explained to me that it's done through a new movie-making process called Dynamation. But please don't ask me what it is. All I do is sit back and enjoy it. Let's sit back now and watch some more Dynamation magic. This time, you've seen a lot of Sinbad, played by a very handsome young actor named Kerwin Matthews. As dashing a swashbuckler as you've seen around since Douglas Fairbanks Sr. He's strong enough to carry me with just one finger. Sinbad is stuck. I cannot move it. You must try, Princess. It's our only hope. But don't think I play all my scenes with Kerwin this way. Some of the time, I'm a real big girl. For another such kiss, I'd invent a whole continent. Oh, there's more. Much more in the seventh voyage of Sinbad. There are sights you never saw before, or even dreamed of. You have just seen a special preview of the new miracle process, Dynamation which will be introduced to the screen in Columbia Pictures, The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, starring Kerwin Matthews and Catherine Grant, co-starring Richard Eyer as the genie of the magic lamp with Torin Thatcher. In Technicolor, The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad is the eighth wonder of the screen. Hmm. Yep, 
I have something I wanted to show. Back in spring of 2022, I traveled through East Hampton to Springs. It was a spring show for the East End Photography Group. And to talk about it, I got to meet my friend and a former bandmate, Jerry Gilliberti. So, with any further ado, let's run the clock. It is 2022. And this is the 34th annual East End Photographers Group show at Ashwalk Hall. And you and I are still here. That's an amazing thing. Yeah, and we're back at Ashwag Hall, which is an amazing thing. It happens <laughs> too. And have, the building is still here; it's still standing. And uh, we have another photography show, our annual show, and uh, we've got 17 photographers. 17. Yeah. Okay. And um, this is our first big show of the season. So this is technically still spring till the. Yeah, it's still spring. So, we've got a couple more weeks before summer. summer. So it's still spring and springtime. Spring and springtime, yeah. Oh, okay, you know. And we're having a show where a couple years ago. We won't say why, but there was a reason why there wasn't a show one year. Mm, I guess it was probably the pandemic. Is that the, I didn't want to say the, I didn't want to say the word. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, uh, this is my description of the pandemic. <laughs> Yeah, but we're not doing that right now. It looks like we're in better shape. Yeah. Keep my fingers crossed. Yeah. So I'm going to hand you the mic, mm -hmm. and you're going to go through and talk to me about what you've got here. Okay. And I'm going to be the guy behind that machine over there. All right. Yeah, we, we've done this kind of like before. Yes, yeah. we've done this so I'm, many times. I know this guy. Yeah, we met back in the 1800s. Yes. Here you go. Your okay. mic. Okay. This image is uh, from the desert area in the... Um, Death Valley, and uh, it's just a cloud study that I had was interested in. It was just a, a wide open desert with a sort of a mountain range. This is a, a very popular spot in Death Valley called Zabreski Point, and uh, luckily on the day before we were leaving, there was a big uh, rainstorm coming into California, and we got all these really cool clouds coming in. And uh, if, you look, if you look really close in there, you'll see tiny people like, lining up with their cameras up on the mountains. And uh, hopefully I didn't get any in there, but it, there might be one. And everybody takes photographs of this area. Uh, and the last one I have in the show is from Gardner's Bay right out here. Uh, it's called Storm Clouds and it's in Gardner's Bay and where I live in Clearwater Beach they have people come and look at the sunset you know every night and one sunset I was there and the clouds were crazy looking and I originally this was sort of uh, bluish and orange and red I just made it into black and white and so it looks you know it looks sort of ominous uh, so so those are the three that I have in the show we haven't really counted up how many were in the show yet but there are 17 photographers this is the part where I walk back into the shop Jerry <laughs> okay because I have these kings of photographers and videographers it's amazing all these photographers here and not one is here to help me on the camera. Actually, that doesn't work that way. My camera. You got to know the camera. So I'm kidding about that. But the bottom line here is that this year the show was open earlier to the public. Yes, that's because we have the, the market. Uh, every Saturday there's a market out here, and mm -hmm. they sell different types of things. And uh, they open up at 10, so it gives us an, uh, an advantage. We have lots of people out there. They can come in, and we can start early, you know, 10 o'clock. So, oh, this is great. This is great. So it's not just hit it for the bathroom and walk through my shots. It's now actually people that are early at the market get to see what's going on here. Yeah. Which is a great idea. Yeah, and hopefully some of them will come back for our opening, which we have, you know, at five. And uh, we have food and wine and all that kind of stuff. Okay. This is not to do with the show. But I want to put this in the edit. All right. Up Island, I'm known as a blues guy. 
Right. And I've been airing 1997 Blues 2000 with a certain guy. Oh, that's right. Okay. So, that was an experience, I have to say. Yeah, I know. And I we got to play with some old-time blues guys. That's I correct. Remember. That's correct. And so now I want to ask you about music. What's going on with the East Hampton scene in music, particularly with you? Okay, well, I'm playing, you know, with a band called Out East, uh, www.outeastmusic.com. And uh, it's a trio, and we do 90% original music. And uh, <laughs> and the rest of it is uh, a few covers, things like that. So we play the talk house, we play at the clubhouse, we play a lot of different locations here, uh, the Masonic Temple uh, in Sag Harbor, which is by the Whaling Museum. Cool, I like and, that. And uh, a lot of different uh, outdoor things we did in town uh, at the uh, village. And so uh, we're keeping busy. Okay, now on another side. You're, um, besides a photographer and a musician, a drummer, percussionist, I like percussionist better than a drummer, yeah. but you also have various kinds of other skills in arts. Um, besides a photograph, I've seen you do little things you look into and... Oh yeah, I, I do some uh, photo... Uh, uh, composite type things with, with metal and uh, transparencies and do little sculptures uh, and uh, actually I'm doing one of those for the box art uh, charity that's coming up in August it's in town at, at, in um, East Hampton and basically what what it is is they raise money uh, and everybody gets a cigar box and you have to make some sort of Art from it. Can you make a, band, a, a guitar out of it? Yeah, a cigar box. Could, but, uh, yeah, no, that would have in mind. Has to be art. Art. Okay. Yeah, well, guitar can be art. Yeah. And then they uh, auction it all, all those off, and they take that money that goes to the uh, charity for the church. There. This is an annual event. Annual event. So I can repeat. Coming up this. Uh, August twenty seventh, I think. Of twenty twenty two. So 2022. if if we have this show coming up, we'll have to put a subtitle between us of the recent show that that's going to air because. That would be, I have to do okay. that. So, the, I'm just saying. Yeah. Technical stuff, guys. So, yeah. well, I thank you for inviting me here. Well, it's always I, great I, to see you. You know, it's, it's, uh, we get to see each other, like, so much during the year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But that's how, that's how life goes. That's how it is. It, that's show business. That is show business. <laughs> that is, you know. And the show looks really good this oh. year, you know. Thank you. All right. I'm going to try and snag a few other people. Try. Okay. You never know around here. Yeah. All well, right. I, I think I see one over there. Well, we'll get him. Okay. We'll get right. him, we'll get her, we'll get them all. Okay. All right. Thanks again. That's a wrap. Wrap one of these. Two years ago, on my earth home, in my backyard, I set up in front of my red barn a little sound stage, and I invited my good buddy, Mike the Highlander O'Brien. And we decided that we would jam, and in the jamming, we created this song. And this song is getting lucky. Roll the clip.
Run! 